33 Gordon Setter Facts Every Owner Should Know Number 1. With unique combination of beauty, brains, and bird sense, Gordon Setters are also affectionately known as Black Avengers of the Highlands. They typically stand between 24 and 27 inches in height and weigh around 45 to 80 pounds. Number 2. In terms of build, Gordon Setters can be briefly described as sturdy. These medium-sized, hard-working dogs show both dependability and athleticism with their robust and proportioned physique. Number 3. Gordon Setters are easily recognizable with their distinctive features, a long and square-cut muzzle, dark ovular eyes, and long ears that hang close to the head. Their eyes are a rich shade of dark brown, adding to the breed's unique appearance. Number 4. These dogs tend to have a moderately long and wavy coat, featuring feathering on the underside, tail, ears, and back of the legs. Although some individuals may have a slightly wavy coat, all Gordons tend to have a sleek appearance along with a meditative expression. Number 5. Often referred to as black and tans, Gordon Setters boast a coal black coat with rich chestnut or mahogany markings on their paws, lower legs, vents, throat, and muzzle. A well-groomed Gordon Setter can gleam in the sun and their handsome appearance is completed by distinctive tan markings. Number 6. Among the Setters, including the Irish Setter and the English Setter, the Gordon Setter holds the distinction of being the heaviest and largest in size. Number 7. Originally known as Black and Tan Setters, Gordon Setters underwent a name change to honor the fourth Duke of Gordon, who discovered these dogs and dedicated efforts to refine their hunting abilities. Number 8. Bred with an initial focus on hunting pheasants and quails, Gordon Setters maintain their excellence in both hunting and field trials. Beyond these pursuits, they showcase their versatility in obedience, confirmation, and agility competitions. Number 9. Gordon Setters are no slouches in the intelligence department. According to Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, they rank 34th out of 79 dog breed groups. When it comes to learning new tricks, they typically need 15 to 25 repetitions to catch on. Impressively, they follow through with the first command about 70% of the time. Number 10. The devoted Gordon Setter is intensely loyal to their family but cautious around strangers, which makes them an excellent watchdog. With proper training, they remain mannerly, eager to please, but can become dominant if not provided with consistent guidance. Number 11. Gordon Setters are generally a healthy breed, with a life expectancy of 12 to 13 years. However, like any other breed, they can be prone to specific diseases and health conditions. Number 12. According to the Gordon Setter Club of America, one of the significant concerns for Gordon Setter owners is bloat, also known as gastric dilatation valvulus. Number 13. These dogs can face the heritable condition of hip dysplasia, which potentially results in arthritis as the dog ages. However, the condition is not as common as in other large dogs. Number 14. Gordon Setters can also be prone to other health issues, including hypothyroidism and eye diseases such as progressive retinal atrophy and cataracts. Number 15. Indigenous to Scotland, Gordon Setters have ancestral roots reaching back to the 1500s and the early 1600s. Some theories suggest that these dogs evolved from setting spaniels exclusively in Scotland. Number 16. Around 200 years ago, this breed captured the attention of people when the fourth Duke of Gordon discovered these dogs and dedicated efforts to refine their hunting abilities. Number 17. After the death of Alexander IV, Duke of Gordon, in 1827, his heir assumed the responsibility of managing the kennels. However, it wasn't until 1924 that these dogs officially adopted the name Gordon Setter. Number 18. While it's commonly believed that the Duke of Gordon favored the black and tan coat, his primary focus was on the dog's working ability and color was not a decisive factor for him. The emphasis on color preferences emerged later in the show ring, eventually leading to Gordon Setters being recognized predominantly as a black and tan breed. Number 19. Initially resembling the English Setter, the modern Gordon Setter took shape through the infusion of various breeds. The addition of Bloodhounds, Black Pointers, and Black Setters contributed to the development of the distinctive characteristics seen in the Gordon Setter today. Number 20. It is also believed that there's a touch of Collie blood in Gordon Setters. At some point in their history, Gordon Setters displayed a tendency to herd their quarry, leading to the speculation that Collie influence may have played a role in shaping this aspect of their behavior. Number 21. In the 1840s, Daniel Webster and George Blunt introduced the Gordon Setter to the United States for the first time. Purchasing Rachel and Rake, a male and female from the Duke of Gordon kennels, they laid the foundation for the breed in the United States. Number 22. In 1872, the British Kennel Club officially recognized the Black and Tan Setter, and this breed was registered in the U.S. by AKC in 1878. Number 23. 
The Gordon Setter holds the distinction of being one of the original nine dog breeds registered at the American Kennel Club. Initially, they were registered under the name of Gordon Castle Setter. Number 24. In 1893, a mere eight years later, the American Kennel Club updated the breed's name from Gordon Castle Setter to Gordon Setter. However, it wasn't until 1924 that the Kennel Club officially accepted this name. Number 25. In 1924, the Gordon Setter Club of America was founded. Today, with over 1,000 members, the club continues to celebrate and support the enduring appeal of the Gordon Setter breed. Number 26. As of the 2022 AKC Popularity Ranking, the Gordon Setter holds the 99th position among the 200 dog breeds registered by the AKC. Number 27. Gordon Setters are known for their slow maturation and sensitive nature as adults. When it comes to family expansion, these devoted dogs typically have a litter size ranging from about 6 to 8 puppies. Number 28. If you're considering getting a Gordon puppy, it's good to be aware that the average price for these delightful companions is around $1,400. However, prices can vary spanning from $800 to $2,200, depending on factors such as the breeder and lineage. If you're exploring more budget-friendly options, then adoption can present an appealing alternative. Number 29. Gordon setters are often vocal, but indoors, they tend to be quieter. Additionally, their biting force is relatively low, making them safe to play with children. Number 30. Despite their historical use as hunting dogs, Gordon setters cannot be classified as fighting dogs due to their calm and friendly nature. They are versatile and can even serve as therapy dogs, service dogs, cart pulling dogs, and even search and rescue dogs. Number 31. Two Gordon Setters have earned the prestigious title of Dual Champion, a recognition bestowed upon dogs who achieve both the title of Show Champion and Field Trial Champion according to Kennel Club regulations. Number 32. In June of 1859, at the inaugural official dog show, a Gordon Setter named Dandy secured the first prize for Setters. Dandy's pedigree could be traced back to the kennels of the Duke of Gordon. Number 33. While Gordon Setters are not among the most common family pets, a few celebrities have owned them. Ed McMahon, known for The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, had a Gordon Setter named Juniper Berry. Diane Sawyer, the ABC News anchor, also had a Gordon Setter named George. Alright guys, now which of these Gordon Setter facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.